Good everyone, oh, good evening. today we have a double dose of scumbag alerts, and well, the second one's coming later today, that is a double contribution by a pair of subscribers, the Bin Chicken and On Off, but I wanted to get this one out first, because this, this just proves what we're dealing with mostly nowadays, and today is a scumbag alert on a player named Fake Joe, that's rather funny actually, and rather ironic, um, and I encountered him in my Boomerang Mark II the other night. And needless to say, after this match, I was so disappointed with the way this player was, I went and downloaded Old School RuneScape and started playing on that, because I wanted to bring back some memories of when I was like seven years old and stuff like that. So, this is another incident where this individual thinks every single kill is his kill, pretty much. Now, in fairness, this player did do some damage to the aircraft in question, which was a P-39N. However, the aircraft was still flying. If Fake Joe had chosen to bro or break off the aircraft, it was heavily likely that the P-39 was going to make it back to base. However, these sorts of players tend not to think, and clearly this guy has more, shall we say, brawn than brains and he shoots me down a couple of minutes later after we have a little tussle at low altitude obviously i didn't have much speed left and the engine was overheating so i couldn't outturn him even if i tried and i did try that's the thing but of course we're dealing with players like this on a daily basis now it's really getting boring and clearly this just proves that the report system needs some work and also, I've got a brief little thing to showcase before I continue. Um, on the Discord server, we had a vote for what I should get in the second bit of War Bonds. Because obviously, War Bonds has been extended. And because of the new patch dropping, War Bonds is being changed. And I voted for if they would want to see the I-16 Type 28. Or if they would choose the Vehicle Box. And the guys in the Discord server voted for the vehicle box, and this is what we got, unfortunately. The HE-112B2U2. There will be a review on this thing eventually. It's just I don't know if I can stomach more HE-112s. But we'll soon see, I suppose. But just figured I'd show that before we began. And, well, let's get into the scumbag alert, and let's take a look at what this guy's been up to. Because clearly, players like this really do need an ego check because th this is this is ridiculous and I'm getting very bored of having to repeat things in different scumbag alerts on players like this <sighs> and to think I figured well I've, I've got myself ready for the new patch I've done a couple of videos in case the patch is delayed and well I can take a break for a few days but no clearly players like this don't want me to take a break but Whatever. So there he is in his J21A1. At this point, I was actually laughing because of how funny the actual name was and stuff like that. I found it rather funny at the time, but as I soon learned, this guy's a prick. And quite clearly, his gameplay style really does show that, unfortunately. So I'll skip us ahead a few minutes because the incident doesn't actually occur until about the nine to ten minute mark of this match and as you're gonna notice I'm out and about in my boomerang just kicking some ass I, I absolutely love the boomerangs the review for this thing's already been recorded as well as the rest of the other reviews that I have left and this was a cracking reversal on my bot I didn't even think I could pull that one off but cracking shot on my bot but yeah, all the premium reviews that I have are ready to go. Obviously, you would have seen the Hellcat, and um, the Gaia 102 is next in the listing, and I'm sure, I'm sure everyone enjoyed the British Hellcat review. Absolutely love that aircraft. But for the next few minutes, I just spend my time ground banding. Obviously, we're, we're doing pretty okay on the tickets already, but I figured, okay, let's just go and farm. I mean, I don't really have anything to do, so I might as well just go and farm using the boomerang's ability to farm. Pop it up four times speed so you don't get as much motion sickness, because... 
the, the camera can be rather unforgiving at times in War Thunder, and th this is no exception. This is all I do for the next few minutes, just because I have 4,000 rounds of MG ammo. I, I have no really real reason to worry about enemy fighters nearby, because there's only actually two left. There's a P39N, who's the guy who is, well, I mean, he, he doesn't get involved, because obviously he's the one who gets shot down. Of course, dodging a P38 there, he's the second to last enemy fighter. I did attempt to turn and give pursuit, but obviously this is a boomerang, this is not exactly a Spitfire, so I'm not going to catch said P38, even with his engine damage. Of course, as you can see back there, Fake Joe is currently engaging Matthew RAF in his P39, and I figured he looks to be struggling, and I won't catch this P38 anyway, so what I'll do is I'll knock this AAA piece out of commission, which I do, and I'll go and give him a hand, because that, that's what a good teammate should do. But no. And I'm going to turn the chat on to get ready for the upcoming shitstorm of this player. And as you can see, they're, they're both in a pretty well-locked dogfight, but clearly the P-39 pilot knew his oil was going to run out and he wasn't going to be able to escape. And as you can tell, Fake Joe's shooting is not great. He's not exactly done great shooting. And just to pause it here, if we go to the P-39's perspective, yes, he has fuselage damage and a bit of oil damage, but otherwise he's relatively okay. So I made a decision to engage. And this is where the incident starts from. The P-39's trying to run away, Fake Joe's shooting is still shit, and we both hit at the same time, and see what he did there, he went for a team kill immediately off the bat. Bear in mind, both of us hit at the same time. There was no way to predict who was going to get that kill. And this is where he starts. He starts off by saying, nice kill steal. No. End of the day, we both hit at the same time, but clearly players like this cannot think more than they can with their actions on their keyboard. And obviously, he's fired the first shot. Realistically, I could take him down right now and not get consequences, because at the end of the day, he fired the first shot. But I chose not to. I decided to be the better person out of all of this. But clearly scumbags like this cannot, shall we say, process this sort of thing. Now he breaks over to the left and I figured, okay, well we're about to win on Grand Forces anyway. I'll go and give the Grand Forces that we have a bit of a help, because there's only a few machine guns left. It's better I knock them out than we lose tickets, isn't it? But as you saw, the moment I broke off, he turns back. And this machine gun is going to be my last contribution to this battle. So I'm obviously keeping an eye on him, making sure he's not doing anything, but he ends up doing so. I killed a machine gun and we are very close to being ahead on tickets. Well, sorry, the game being over is what I meant. And this is where he starts again. Look at his approach angle. You can tell he's going for me, can't you? This player's ego is so big, he cannot let something that is once, or well, one in a million, because at the end of the day, two of us ain't gonna hit the same target at the same time and cause two different fires. And this player's ego is so huge, he has to do this. So let's continue. He makes a very aggressive dive angle, starts spraying and praying at me. And, as you can tell, I don't have a lot of speed. And I also have wing damage. And an overheating engine. This was completely one-sided. There's no way I'm beating this guy at this current time. And I knew that. I just wanted to see if he actually would have the balls to go through with his team kill. Because not a lot do. But this player did. 
After a couple of rotations, my engine was coughing and wheezing at this point. It needed to cool down. And I pull up to try and get out of the way, but Mr. Egotistical gets his shot off, sets my rear fuel tank on fire, and that's me done. And that's me out of the fight. Game ends about a minute or two later, as you can tell by the replay. But let's take a look at the player card of this guy, and I, I'm terribly sorry for the sound bug there. There we go. Piers Gaijin don't like the fact that um, replays don't like to work for me anymore, but hey ho. I'll have to just leave the game running in the background as I speak here, because you don't want that annoying sound bug, trust me. As you can tell, this is a level 85. I've noticed a lot more of this recently. Uh, the, the higher you go in level, I've noticed, well, the players you encounter, the more toxic they are. And this player's no exception. And if you look at his player card, this is even more of a solidified case. He only plays really Germany, and he only really plays Sweden. So let's take a look. And as you can tell, this guy must be one of Pete's ancestors, or like grandkids or something, I don't know. Because all he plays, for the most part, is Sweden. Of course, Bullseye Pete doesn't play the tanks, but the top aircraft should be more than representative. And this is just silly. But hey, can't always see the sort of players that you're going to be meeting and all that. And you can't really think like, oh, this player's not going to do that. You should always be prepared to take down a player that you may think, or at least fires the first shot. Even if it's just a warning shot, take them down. That'll teach them a lesson. For the most part, anyway. But... Obviously, as I said in chat, welcome to both my Discord and YouTube shitbird, because I was not happy with this guy. And he says, go ahead to tell me. I think he means, tell me what your channel is. So I, th I said to him, one of Derp Angel's favourite comebacks is, I'll tell you to go fuck yourself, but you're not worth the effort. And that pretty much leaves it at that. I don't see the player again, because obviously I went on RuneScape. But this was a deliberate team kill for a petty reason which would only really ha realistically happen once every couple of games. At the end of the day, both of us hit. We didn't know who was going to get that kill. The game just ended up awarding it to me. But clearly, egotistical stat padding players like this clearly don't care about that sort of thing, and they only care about their stats. And even then, this guy's stats are trash for how many games he's got in some vehicles. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's scumbag alert on Fake Joe. As previously mentioned, um, we do have another scumbag alert coming later, as courtesy of On Off and The Bin Chicken. But otherwise, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's scumbag alert, and I will catch you all later on the second scumbag alert. See you all later.